in virtual reality, uh, you know, these scenes are happening all around you uh, visually, and what you need from an, audio, from an audio perspective is for those sounds to be exactly where you expect them to be. Uh, with Dolby Atmos, what, it, what we enable is extremely precise audio uh, coupled with the creative freedom that's needed by content creators in order to tell a better than life story. So, you know, when you watch something uh, in the movie theater or on television, 90% uh, of the time or more, uh, you know, the, the crack of the bat as it hits the ball is superlative, meaning yeah. it sounds much better than it does in real life. That same level of creative flexibility is present when the best storytellers have the best content creation tools and technology in front of them. And so at Dolby, we built that technology and now we've adapted our technology called Dolby Atmos for use in VR storytelling. And so how does that work in terms of how creators are able to put sounds in space and then also deal with the motion and people looking around and all of that? Yeah, so what content creators have told us in virtual reality, number one, is that precision is an absolute must. And so with the, Do with the Dolby Atmos technology, uh, because it's based on audio objects, you have the utmost precision available. Uh, but beyond just precision, because our solution is object-based, we can also, on a per-sound basis, enable content creators to define whether a sound should be what we call head relative or scene relative, for example. A head relative sound is something that should stay fixed relatively as you move your head around, like a musical score or the voice of a narrator. That shouldn't change as you move around a scene. The opposite of that is something that we would call scene relative, which is the sound of someone standing in the scene, where as I turn around, I want that sound to remain fixed in the scene and to change audibly uh, as I turn my head. Uh, so with Dolby Atmos, we enable uh, not only the precision in terms of placement of sound, but the ability to say whether each sound should be head relative or scene relative. Beyond that, we also have the ability to define how much of, a, uh, of an externalization effect should be applied, which really gives another layer of creative freedom to content creators so that they can define uh, how accentuated a sound should be. Should it be really close uh, in your field of view or further out, or should it have no externalization at all? And these are all features that some of the best content creators have been asking for in order to tell the right story in virtual reality. And what that means for the audience, though, mm -hmm. is that you wind up in an experience that is absolutely believable. Um, the, the fact of the matter is just the way we're wired, um, audio plays a huge part. We, we actually always think that sight is one of the most important things. It's not actually all the way true. I say that especially in VR and, and in real life, actually audio is more than 50%. You hear things before you see them. That's just the way we're wired. So in storytelling, um, it's very important for it to be absolutely accurate um, so that if you're, something's happening behind you, you turn around and it's actually there. Or, as Joel was saying also, there, there are some sounds that um, they aren't directional. Like for example, a deep, deep rumble, a, a, a subwoofer. That's not, you feel that no matter where you are. It's not a directional yeah. thing, so you need to have that. The other part of this that excites us really is that there's also a level of a standard um, across all of our devices so that us as content uh, uh, both creators and publishers, but also for those people that are interested in, in creating content, they know that if someone plays it on a tethered device, uh, a Vive, a HCC, or whatever, or they play it on your VR or on your iOS phone, that it's going to be consistent. It's going to sound the same. And also, it's going to sound the same experience to experience. This is one of the main reasons why we wanted to be able to work with Dolby, because they take that level of detail and apply it to the content so that we know we have the best possible experience. It's really critical for content creators when they're creating a piece of art that they know exactly what a, con what a consumer is going to hear. Mm -hmm. And just to echo Miles' point, our solution uh, enables that great Dolby experience across whatever headset you're using, whether it's uh, Oculus or Vive or an iOS device in cardboard or an Android device in cardboard or a Gear VR device, a Samsung device in a Gear VR. Uh, that Dolby experience is exactly what the content creator crafted and we believe that's critical to really bringing this medium forward in terms of getting the right stories uh, to be experienced by the mainstream.